All right, guys, today here on the Sunday stream, we're going to look at the brand new legends in Madden 17. Randy Moss makes his return. He was in Madden 25, and he was dominant. And Michael Strahan, who had some good finesse rush last year. So before we get to them, there's a couple quick items. Those football outsiders will do real fast. And then Cam Newton grabbed an item, uh, a flashback based on 2012. 83 speed, you know he never has top end speed, but he's always got good strength, good carry, but with only 83 deep, I can't recommend this item even with 93 throw power, unless you wanted a specific type of offense where you actually use the Panthers book with quarterback style runs and through short and medium, great short and medium, great uh, power, but just the accuracy deep makes me a little bit nervous. Uh, Drill Casey, this was one of my favorite items if you guys need a 91 strength, 92 block shed beast for your D-end uh, position, who can also rush the passer with 94, 83, this is a rich man's Allen Bailey. This is a Muhammad Wilkerson style item, 3-4 end. That can do it all. You don't have to uh, sub him out. You can leave him, and he should be all set. Now, a couple more items before we get into the Moss. He grabs a back-to-back -back item after his second 200-week performance. He's up to 90 speed with 90 elusive and 83 truck. This item's starting to trend into that category, and that's why I always look forward to the next item. And I always kind of project, like, well, what if this guy does it again? Where is he going to be? Uh, Brandon Williams, this is the best cheap run stuff option in the entire game. 93 strength, 95 block shed. He should be on every single person's team in the game. Shouldn't cost that much. Uh, you know, if he drops down to 10K, grab him. You won't look back. Uh, Hicks, the middle linebacker, grabs an item. There's so many good middle linebackers out right now that I, I just won't even look at this one because I, you know, you got to get the Buchanan. There's, there's just so many options. Uh, Hill gets a, an 84 gold. It seems like he should almost even be a little higher, but uh, 89 truck with 88 speed, 86 agility. That's, that's not gonna fly at this point in the season. And then a free safety here. With 85-85, that's not going to fly at this part of the season either with no hit power. If he had some pop in his bat, <clears throat> that might work. Now, let's get to the uh, guys everyone wants to hear about. That's Randy Moss. And, guys, reminder, we do have a Randy Moss item on the squad right now for review uh, coming in from EA. So we will be breaking him down with gameplay after this on the channel. So don't go anywhere. But uh, this Randy Moss is six foot four. 92 speed. Now, some people said 92 speed was disrespectful to Randy Moss. Uh, they said he should be as fast as Brandon Cooks. And I believe Cooking with the Cooks has 93 speed on his most recent item. So, I don't think 92 is bad. I think it gives him room to uh, grow as the, as the year goes on for Moss. He is obviously a deep threat. He gives you dual deep threat chemistry. That does not give you speed. It gives you, I believe... Uh, plus one spec, plus one throw deep, and plus one something else. So uh, he will boost himself up in a little bit because he provides it by himself, which is pretty unique. But as we look at his other things, he has 96 spec, one of the highest in the game, 90 catch in traffic, which, you know, wasn't his, over the middle wasn't his thing. He's an outside guy, but downfield one-on-one, you still have to catch in traffic. So uh, 90 route running. Now, I'm a huge route running guy. Uh, I know I go over this a lot, but Marvin Harris and Tim Brown, like those guys just play really, really well. I think the blend that this Moss has with the 92 speed, with the six foot four, he gives you a little bit of what Herman Moore does. He gives you a little bit of what Julio does. He's going to give you a little bit of spec. Um, and so I'm really excited to use this Moss and see what he brings. Obviously, he's a premier uh, player. Is he better than the Julio Jones? I'd say on paper, they're very, very close. But the Julio for me, and I explained this to Gibbs, I said Julio sometimes doesn't put his hands up for catches on the, on, the, on the deep post. He won't animate. And Gibbs said maybe he's not tall enough. I don't know what it is. It could be me. It's most likely me, a bad throw by my quarterback, or I'm not holding the button right. But I have given Julio one or two verbal warnings. He's also got the playmaker, uh, does Julio, and he's earned me a lot of catches I shouldn't have made so I can't knock Holy Julio too much but th that's kind of the running for where these guys are and then lastly Michael Strahan um, rolls in guys now last year Michael Strahan as a giant you know he's one of my favorite items that comes every year he was in the ultimate freeze last year he had 99 uh, finesse move by the time he came out or very 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 high finesse move 
but he didn't have great strength or great block shed. Now this year he does have much improved, in my opinion, strength and block shed. He's much more balanced at that 90 mark where you can leave him in. He's right up there with Javon Curse. Now Curse versus Strahan, price-wise, I'm gonna go Curse. But Strahan, you get more, a little more strength. I think the same block shed. 92 finesse, 89 power move. Now previously we would have said this, we don't care. We just want higher finesse. But now, A, I love finesse move. B, power move will still play, according to RG from last year's Mudcast. So the fact that he's 92-89, that's one of the most balanced pass rushers in the game. I cannot wait to use Strahan. Now he also has this ability chemistry called D-line auto, D-line jump. I, got, I need to check it out. We're gonna user him in the game. We might use our D-lineman because we may be able to use this ability chemistry to potentially rack up more sacks. Now, it's going to be tough to give up our lacquer across the middle user, but, I mean, what if the stray hand re-changes the game? Uh, it's going to be pretty interesting to see how uh, he operates with this ability chemistry. So, really looking forward to trying it out and seeing where he stacks up. Curse will just move to DT and stray hand will now be the guy. So... That's how we're going to uh, roll it into the lineup. And uh, thank you, guys. We're going to lock in some Sunday stream gameplay right now. So don't go anywhere. Make sure to follow that channel, guys. We're going to go onto the gridiron right now.